hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i'm come after a very long time i'm coming with a new video which is based on architecture of database so without wasting further time let's begin with the video so here is the video on architecture of database before going to the topic of architecture of database we'll study that what is data and what is database actually okay so i will not make a, i'm not making making the slide on what is data and what is database so if you are using a pen and notebook you can write it down on your notebook that what i am speaking okay what i am speaking with my experience okay so guys what is data actually data is defined as the collection of raw facts and meaningless information but if we process the data then only data converted into meaningless information meaning full information okay sorry i corrected the meaningful information example like student marks cgpa student and like you can draw in a block diagram also like in the first block of it you can write the data and you can make an arrow if through on which you can write process processing and you can make the another block of it you can write meaningful information the conclusion of over of it is if we process the data then the data is converted into meaningful information now coming to the what is database a database is a logically organized collection of data or raw facts or figures means data is a meaningless information on the other hand database is logically organized meaningful information we don't need to or uh, we don't need to process the data into meaningful information it is already a meaningful information in database okay so now coming to the next point what is database management system or dbms okay so a dbms system or a database management system is a system which is used to store data in such a manner that it become easy to manipulate retrieve and produce information for example mysql sybase oracle microsoft access ibm db2 these are the software which are using which are used for a dbms okay so i hope you all understand that what is data database and dbms now we will study that what is architecture of database so now coming to the next slide the points we are study in this architecture of database data abstraction physical level logical level view level instance and schema data independence database users database administrator entity relation model symbols of er model classification of attributes entity to entity relationship generalization specialization practical view of er diagram so we will discuss the half of the topics in this video okay so be with my video guys i hope you will enjoy my video so coming to the next slide what is architecture of database in architecture of database we will study the database abstraction abstraction okay data abstraction is means hide the certain details of how the data is stored and maintained means data abstraction is the technique to hide the certain details of how the data is stored okay in database abstraction there are three levels first one is physical level second one is logical level and the third one is view level in physical level it describes how the data is actually stored in bitwise or a bytewise or a in words in logical level logical level describes the what data is stores and the type of relationship exists among the database it is it basically describes the relationship okay now coming to the view level view level describes the entire detail of the database 
like you are creating a database and view level which describes the entire detail of the database. Now, second point is instance, instance and schema. Instance of ski instance of database is defined as the amount of information stored in a database at a particular moment of time. Means if your teacher is asking like what is instance of database, you can uh, you can define it in very very well mannered like instance of database is the amount of information stored in a database at a particular moment of time and what is a schema here the overall design of the database is known as schema i have mentioned some example for example int abc so here int is the int is the schema and abc is the instance okay int is the schema and abc is the instance so coming to the next slide schema is broadly classified into three categories physical schema logical schema and view schema we have already discussed the physical level logical level view level in data abstraction it is as simple as anything so guys i hope you all enjoy this video and what is data independency the word Coming from independency, I hope you all are understanding that what is independency, okay? So, if I change the program in one file or a one level, then it will not affect the another levels. The ability to modify data schema at one level affecting the schema at another level. For example, if I am changing the program in physical level, then it will not affect the view level or logical level this is known as the data independency okay so data independency are of two types physical data independency logical data independency it is very note point is it is very easy to achieve physical data independency but it is very difficult to achieve logical data independency physical means the upper part and logical means the complex part that is why it is difficult to achieve okay coming to the next slide database users application programs in database users there are four programmers or users first one is application programmers that is users interacted directly to the database and second one is sophisticated users like without writing program they can interact with the users these are the example in simple word specialized user expert system cad rdbms okay rdbms and end user log, uh, login details and coming to the next point database administrator in database administrator schema definition is there storage structure and access method backup and recovery Renting of authorization for accessing data. I hope you all this understand this what I am studying. So guys, uh, next topics we will study in the next video. Before going to the next video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel and share my video as possible you can. Thank you.